Hello, hello, hello everybody. How are you all doing? Today is the end of Easter. It is Monday and we are playing Just Get Through, a platformer featuring roguelike elements. The name does suggest that it might be one of those frustration games and a little splash green before this did also hint at that as well. Just get to the portal. It's that simple. So, it also says that it features some destructible environments, a sandbox mode, user-created levels, colour palettes, deadly traps, explosions and more. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Play Classic. This game also features full controller support, unlike the other demo that we played previously. So... Yes, the controls do not make sense whatsoever. For some reason, the jump is on the uh, right bumper. Aha. Aha, we can wall jump. Okay then. We'll need some TNT and we'll have to figure out how we throw that. Bumpers, triggers, A, X, B, Y, uh! Well. No, no, fuck me. So the controls aren't very intuitive whatsoever. Right, right bumper to jump, because fuck you. And in order to drop our dynamite, we have to press in the right thumbstick because you know that that's logical are we supposed to blow those bees up or something because last time we jumped into them we kind of died didn't we or maybe not that's a portal i thought it was bees that were coming to kill us okay i would like let me see oh do more damage on the wall when grinding on it. Doing a wall jumper against it. Go on then, we'll uh, take that. Oh, okay, I see. We're slowly grinding away at the wall. Okay. Woo -woo. So how do we blow holes in things then? Let's... If we just keep jumping on and off... No. Yeah, just keep jumping and jumping and eventually we'll blow a hole in it. Okay. So we want to avoid that, one would assume. So down we go. Ooh. Ha. Can we blow these up? No, but we can create ourselves a path round it. There we go. And whoop. And we're complete. Hmm. Improve your compass. Your direction arrow view distance gets increased. Yes, further TNT. That sounds like a good thing because we are. At the minute, we just kind of drop it by our feet, which is not so great. I assume the flag is a checkpoint. It would make sense. There we go. I mean, we can destroy the environment somewhat. We've not needed to as of yet. This... Sort of... Um, How do we call it? What do we call it? A crosshair of sorts? It's a bit spazzy when using the right trigger. I assume we use that to guide our TNT. But it does not control well at all with a controller. It's, it just kind of hangs and freezes everywhere. We'll try with the mouse. Oh, of course. Oh, that's so much smoother and easy. That works just fine. So maybe, maybe not play this with the controller. Maybe skip this one as well. And that was a spike. Damn. 
So yeah, maybe maybe play this with mouse and keyboard. Increased view distance. Larger attraction range. Increased throw power. I shall throw my TNT even further. Ah! That does not throw it whatsoever. That just drops it at your feet. Okay. So. No. Oh, right. So you got to hold in the right thumbstick. And while you're holding it all the way in, you've got to move it around without letting go. Otherwise, we'll throw the TNT. So we'll throw it there. Get rid of the saw. Oop. We may have fucked ourselves. We'll um, find out shortly. No, no, we're good. We we got through, luckily. Almost knackered it up there. Okay. Oh. No, bollocks. Not where we wanted at all. Uh, no, no, not there either. There. Wow, we have no TNT. Um, not so good. Maybe, maybe we can still finish. No, maybe we can't. There we go. Let's see if we can destroy this by just repeatedly jumping into it. Bomb, bomb. There you go. Oh, we killed ourselves, did we? Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, oh. Up we go. Where we stop, nobody knows. So. Oh, shit. We need um, some way of getting up there. Hmm. Oh. Well, that's not good. I think we need some TNT. Can we start this again? Ah. That may have been a bad idea. It said try and get as far as you can. We may have gone back to the beginning now. Yes, level one. We are right back here. At the start. Okay, well, that was Just Get Through. You can see the idea. It looked better on paper than in practice. It's good, don't get me wrong. It, mm. With a controller, the TNT is really bad to throw, so that's probably just because I was having a bad time with the controller. Also, the, the aim here, where this just seems to, like, freeze and hang randomly... Whereas with a mouse, perfectly smooth and fluid. No problems whatsoever. So, I might give a miss on this one with the controller. Use mouse and keyboard, preferably. Unless you desperately do want to play with a controller. I would have thought the environment would have been more destructible. It appeared that way in the videos. It seems not, or unless maybe later on. But I don't think we gain any more abilities or anything like that. So... I shall leave it there. This is available for $3.99 on Steam, or if you would like to play the demo first, you may go and grab it as well. So thank you all for watching, and I shall see you again in the future. Miss out. Okay, so I, I went into the options menu, and it seems that we may be able to rebind our keys. There we go. We can jump by doing that. We can also spin. Sprint, I think, with that. Sounds like a good idea. Throw our TNT like so. Put the TNT away like so. Or no, no, let's let's set that to B. Use and activate. 
Yeah, probably just play it with the keyboard after all.